Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 7th through the 13th. Keep in mind, the timing is still fluid, okay? Uh, I'm just going to see what comes up for you. What do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? One card, please. Goddess of the Moon. So you are very intuitive this week. You are probably feeling very, very emotional. I feel as though you're going to be getting messages. You're going to see, be seeing all kinds of signs. Uh, things that have been hidden may be revealed to you. Uh, you're really going to be um, connecting with the with the with the universe per se and your intuition. So re and it, well, seven that's an, that equals seven to me. It's a it's a number from heaven. Seven is a number from heaven. It's also a number of faith. Okay, so I do believe that you are going to have some sort of deeper connection with the universe this week, and you're going to be receiving messages. Um, all kinds of signs. So really, really pay attention and pay attention to your dreams as well, because I feel like your dreams are really going to be talking to you. I feel like there's some sort of hidden forces that are guiding you. So really, you know, hidden forces are angels, spirits, people that have passed away. You know, you are being guided. You are definitely being guided this week. Really listen, listen to your gut. There could also be some unforeseen problems this week, so um, just beware. Uh, you could be dealing with a liar, okay, and you're going to have to use your intuition to discern whatever it is they're doing. So, And I think that your intuition will give you the answer and tell you that this person is lying. And the thing is, will you listen to your gut or will you not? So really pay attention this week. Um, proceed with caution, okay? This moon that we have just had in Pisces is really going to still affect you this week. You could also be dealing with a Pisces. Um, you don't have to be, but um, could also be dealing with a Cancer. What else do we have for Scorpio? Um, what do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? Destiny, Wheel of Fortune. Now this is a cycle. This is this is uh, fate. This, so this is fate. This is destiny. A cycle that is coming to an end. This is good luck. Being at the right place at the right time. There's a change in direction. A chapter of your life is coming to an end, and you are about to step into a new uh, situation by the looks of things. Because this is, you know, the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new one. You are destined for change. Whatever is happening is absolutely meant to be this week. So really, really uh, pay attention. This is good luck. This is like... Um, being at the right place at the right time. Whatever is happening, it's very fortunate. So this is a fortunate change... It's a, it is. It's a very... You're about to have some sort of fortunate change of some sort. Um, positive. It's, it is positive. So if you're thinking it's not, I think it is. Um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is the Wheel of Life. Life is always changing. Your life is about to change. And I just got chills down both arms. So your life is about to change. Basket. Recognition. Reward for merit. Diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. I know it feels like this is very positive. But when you get the moon, there is some sort of illusion. So be careful. Really be careful. Listen to your intuition this week. 
you're going to be recognized for something. So that's really good. Let's just put that like that. And this is a reward as well. The Wheel of Fortune is a reward. Okay, fortune. And then we have reward here. You're going to be rewarded, re be rewarded for something. You may be receiving, and this is you will be receiving, or I think you are going to be receiving something. You are. Interesting. What do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? You may even be going, I don't know, on a picnic or, I don't know, something... You know what I what I see you may if you're single and watching this you there could be you could win something and I don't know why I'm changing it to win something <laughs> you could meet somebody uh, at the grocery store as well in the checkout line if you're single <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that but that's what I feel um, it's interesting now this arrow you're gonna be pointed in the right direction I know that you are you're being guided it feels like from somebody it could be somebody that has passed away. I don't know who this person is, but you're being guided down a new path. This person recognizes whoever this person is. I don't know who it is. It's somebody that recognizes your hard work and they recognize your, your worth. I also feel like you may be dealing with somebody that has addictions. And you are destined to change, to, to change that cycle and not go down the same path as them. <laughs> the Empress Reverse. You could be dealing, you, you know, the person you are dealing with. This is you, and this is the overall energy between the two of you. You know, some of you may have dealt with, a, this could be a mother that has passed away. We have the Empress reversed, the Six of Swords reversed, and the Death reversed. So, and this is, the, I'm not sure if it is, but it, or it could be a grandmother. It's a motherly energy. Um, this could be a mother that has lost her child that is trying to guide him because the Six of Swords is about her, guide him or her. Um, this is staying put in a troublesome situation where there's a lot of turbulence. I feel like you are stuck in a situation that you need to get out of. If you, if this isn't about a mother, you could be dealing with a real bitch. Just being honest here. You could be dealing with somebody or living with somebody that is nasty. This person is a mess. They don't really care. They cause a lot of problems and you want to break free. I feel like it's, you've reached the end of the road with somebody and you are, tr you're, it's almost like they're telling you, you know, the higher realms is telling you, you got to go. You got to get out of here. It's not meant to be. You are meant for better things. Okay. So I feel like you really are meant for better things. I think this holding on is getting old between you and whoever this person is that is causing you so much trouble because the six of swords reverse is in a troublesome situation that you need to get out of. And this is your energy. Whoever you are dealing with, um, if you are the male watching this, you are dealing with an individual that isn't very motherly, um, doesn't really know how to take care of you, something like that. If you are the female watching this, you don't know your worth. This is a woman that uh, probably doesn't know her value, doesn't want to, doesn't want to deal with their pain. But I think this is your energy right here. So if you are the woman watching this, you may you may have an, you may have grown up without a mother. Somebody may has grown up without a mother. There's there's mother issues here or an absent mother that didn't take very good care of them. Or there could have even been a loss of a mother here. Anyhow, whoever you are dealing with probably uh, didn't doesn't take very good care of you or something like that. I feel like. Uh, this holding on is getting old and I think you've been called to go down the new path. You are. You are. And I think that you know it. I think that your intuition has been telling you this. Anyhow, Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles reversed, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Let's get one more card.
Page of Cups, King of Swords, and Queen of Swords. Okie dokie. And the overall energy is the Ten of Wands reverse. So this is letting go. That is letting go. Letting go of responsibilities. Letting go of a burden. Letting go of a baggage. Balance is waiting for you. Okay? We got some balance that is waiting for you. I feel like whoever you are dealing with is very flighty. Okay? This person is always in a hurry. They don't. They act without thinking. Uh, they may be somebody that uh, one minute they're doing this, the next minute they're doing that. They forget what they're doing. They may they may have some addictions. Whoever you are dealing with is always on the run. Okay, they they seem like they are. Um, they take a lot of risks. They do stupid things. Whoever you're dealing with. Uh, this person moves really, really, really fast. And I feel like you um, have some sort of emotional connection with this person, whoever you're dealing with. And it could be some sort of fantasy. You may be in some sort of fantasy land with this person. I feel like whoever you're dealing with may, may, may fill you up with, you know, they're... They're, this person is a dreamer. Whoever you're, we're, we're, we're talking about is a dreamer. Um, I think you need to follow your heart. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is probably... You notice that, that page of cups is not facing you. They may be... It seems like they love somebody else. So they, they love themselves a lot. You know, they're really focused on their appearance. Whoever you're dealing with. Um... They don't love you unconditionally, you know. There's not unconditional love here, whoever you're dealing with. Um, they're mean. You guys, and then the Empress Reverse is somebody who is mean. You know, there's a lack of growth. There's an absent mother. There's mother issues. This person is needy. They're selfish. Mean-spirited. Self-absorbed. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very self-absorbed. Somebody that... Uh, doesn't really think before they act. And I think it's causing you a lot of stress. You may work with this person as well. Or you live with this person. And you've probably wa been wanting to get out of it. It's like it's you're stuck in this situation. You're stuck there. I'm not sure if you're dealing with an another water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, C Sagittarius. Or an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like overall... You know, the overall, there's, 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 this is a setback. I feel like you, because you, this is your energy, you have chosen to stay in this situation. You know, it's caused you to uh, be angry. I think it's brought out some anger in yourself. I feel like you, you uh, know that this person is. I don't know. It feels like they're delusional or something. Anyhow, I feel like you love this person, though. You love this person. You do. You love this person, but you know this person isn't good for you. You know this person has some sort of addictions that are holding you back. You could be dealing with somebody who cheats, okay? I'm just being honest with you. I mean, this person doesn't stick around, you know? One minute they're doing this, the next minute they're doing that. This is somebody that really, really moves very fast. Um, anyway, I feel like things are not working out. You are in a very rocky, rough situation where... Uh, it's like it's constant waves, you know. It's like it's getting to the point where you're feeling washed out. You can't do this anymore. It's draining to you. I think that you have to have a conversation with this person. And it's going to be a difficult conversation. I think that you need to tell them the truth. Because I don't think they're focusing really on you. I think that they're, they're spending so much time loving somebody that doesn't love them that they're ignoring you. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's like they, they're, they're expressing, they're, it's like they're giving their heart to somebody that doesn't even love them. And in the meantime, they're ignoring you, which is it hard to explain. I feel like the overall energy between the two of you is that you guys need to have a conversation. You and this other person need to have a conversation and you need to tell them that, you know, you're not happy in this situation, that, you know, this isn't what you were hoping for, you know, that this is not working out. I feel like you are being guided. I think that you have somebody that is, is guiding you. And I, I feel like this is somebody that has 
passed away. It's like a motherly energy. I feel like it is. I think it's a feminine motherly energy that is trying to get you to uh, take action per se. Why, why are you holding on to this dead end? It's like you're holding on to this, you know, it's only depleting you. I think that you need to be assertive and you need to speak your truth with this person. You need to be honest with this person. You need to, you know, tell them, it, tell them, tell them that, you know, this is holding you back. I feel like uh, you don't want to repeat this same cycle with, you know, it's like, you know how kids and parents tend to repeat the same cycles over and over and over again this is a chance to break the cycle you know you need to break the cycle we have we have a cycle here and a cycle here it's like you want to you want to you you want to keep repeating you want to repeat the past i feel like uh this holding on is getting old i feel like you've been held back by fear you've been in a place of indecision and it, you've been stuck You've been stuck. You've been stuck in a situation that just isn't working out because you. it feels like you love this person, right? You do love this person, but there's no real reciprocation. Okay, I don't see reciprocation. You don't see eye to eye with this person. I feel like they bring out the worst in you and they all, you know, it's like you can't take it anymore. So I feel like it's time for you to... You know, spin that wheel. It's this. It's this chapter of your life is over. I feel like uh, whoever it is that is guiding you recognizes how hard you have tried to make this work. I feel like your balance is waiting for you, and you need to drop. You need to drop out. You can't carry all the load. You can't do this. It's just because this, whoever you're dealing with wants to be on the road all the day or wants to call all the shots but doesn't want to do any of the work. This is not, that's not fair to you. So anyway, I, I, I just feel like uh, you are overwhelmed by another person's problems, and it feels like it's a very unfortunate uh need for you to leave I think it is unfortunate because it's like you don't you don't want to desert this person but they're holding you back they are holding you back I feel like you you've been wanting to leave I feel like you've been wanting to leave but you've been staying there maybe for the money maybe because there's some sort of financial gain by staying there or something like that but I feel like you need to detach yourself from your feelings and you need to be honest with yourself you may also have an absent father here if it's not a mother it could have something to do with a father you could even be dealing with a father that is very aggressive towards you and um or was at some point and you just don't know how to handle it anyhow um I think that you um need to use your head um, I think you need to speak your truth. Um, don't give people or don't work for people that, uh, play mind games with you. It feels like whoever you're dealing with plays a lot of mind games. Um, I think that, that, uh, you deserve more. I feel like you've been refusing to move or refusing to consider a new approach because <sighs> why, why, why have you been refusing to consider a new approach? Because of money, perhaps lack of funds, but this holding on is getting old. The stress is killing you. So anyway, this week, I mean, that death card reverse, this is the overall energy for both of you. This is a, this is a disaster. Death reverse, it's, it's upheaval. I think that you're going to be dealing with some upheaval. I think you've been trying to delay the inevitable. This is delaying the inevitable. This it's it's like it's been over. It's been over, but you've been refusing to move because you know it's going to be a difficult conversation. Or you haven't been honest with yourself or something like that. Somebody is staying stuck. 
to something that they are not meant to be with. This is not meant to be. This is, this is clinging to the past, stuck in the present or the past. It's time for a new perspective. Be honest with yourself. This is a week of communicating with whoever this person is that you have been afraid to. Express your feelings. What would your mother say? Or what would you say to your child? You know, we have some mothers that didn't care. We have a mother here that doesn't care. Well, but if you care for your children, what would you tell your child? If they were in the situation you're in. Maybe you need to be a mother to yourself. I feel like we have some sort of abuse here almost. It feels like it's mental abuse. It's time for you to let go. The Ten of Wands reverse is letting go. It's letting go of a burden. It's letting go of baggage. It's dropping it all. I don't need this. I'm not going to carry it. I'm letting, I don't want it. This is making a conscious change to drop something that you have been carrying. You don't need to carry it. Drop it. So the overall energy this week is finding the value within yourself and dropping whatever this is that is weighing you down. I feel like your past mistakes are coming back to haunt you because you keep repeating them. You keep, re you, or you repeat your father's or your mother's re mistakes, whatever. And you know, we, the apple don't fall too far from the tree and that's real. But the Wheel of Fortune is a card of free will. You have the opportunity right now to end this cycle and step into something very good. This is a perfect time for you to change your path. It's time for you to take action. Stop giving somebody your energy and your effort. This per It's like you need to take action. Whoever you are putting effort into is holding you back. I feel like there's going to be, you know, somebody's going to be stopped. I think that you're going to, you are going to, um, have some sort of event. I mean, this is a horrendous loss. Both these cards reversed. You may receive news or you may be delivering some news. The law could even get involved. Be, re be prepared to hear some or speak some information, speak some, there's something that is about, there's going to be a very difficult conversation, put it that way, by the end of this week. Whatever that, whatever is happening is going to change your course. You're probably not going to like it. It feels like you're trying to, to, to stay safe, but wherever you're trying to stay safe is very, very troublesome. It is. It's rough. It's rough. And I think you need to deal. You need to deal with it. Maybe this is a gift of freedom. This could be definitely be an emotional week as well. 
I think you're being guided out of a difficult situation with some sort of a protection from somebody from above. Be prepared to face your fears. Good luck.